I am Laura Dixon, and you are listening to the Naturally Thin for Life podcast, episode number 53, Immediate Gratification Without Food. Welcome to the Naturally Thin for Life podcast. I'm going to teach you how to get out of your diet brain so that you too can be naturally thin for life. No counting, restricting, or obsessing. I am going to take the mystery out of it for you so that you can become naturally thin starting today. Are you ready? Let's do this. Friends, welcome back to the podcast. Did you know you cannot even want to overeat? Like genuinely zero desire. Now, if you've been listening for a while, you know that that is true and that's what I talk about. But I want you to start really seeing how it could be true and it could be true for you right now today. So in this episode, I'm going to help you start living into that and really experiencing more of that experience around food where you start to genuinely not even want it. But before we get started, as a reminder, if you are enjoying the podcast and getting a lot out of it, if you could take a minute and leave a review, I say thank you. But also the other women who haven't found the podcast yet also say thank you too, because when you leave a review, it helps the podcast platform suggest it to other women. And I know you've heard me say this before, but I love imagining a world where every woman is free from the obsession with her weight, and we get to pass that on to our daughters. So much fun. And so this podcast is a big part of that mission for me. And so I thank you so much in advance for taking the time to do that. Now, I've talked a little bit about this concept on earlier episodes. I've mentioned immediate gratification and changing how your brain really sees the gratification of food. But so often it is overlooked, and so I want to dedicate an entire episode to it. And as a reminder, the only reason you ever want to eat when you aren't hungry or find it difficult to stop eating when you are satisfied or you have a desire to eat food that doesn't feel good in your body is because your brain is searching for a distraction. Your body itself never wants to feel the discomfort of overeating or eating food that doesn't feel good. That's why it's sending you the cues of the discomfort to send a signal up to your brain to say, hey, brain. I don't want to eat this next time. It doesn't feel so good. Or could we stop eating? The disconnect between your brain and your body creates the challenge for a diet brain to become naturally thin because they just haven't come back to that innate brain-body connection where they easily listen to each other. When you are dieting, your brain tells you that there are two options when you have that desire for food, but you aren't hungry or you want to keep eating past the point of being satisfied. Your brain thinks I have two options here. I can either white knuckle and willpower and restrict and deprive and not eat the food, or I can give in. But there is actually a third option. This is one of the tools I teach all of my clients. It is this third option that you can actually calm all of that down so that you genuinely don't even want to eat the food that doesn't feel good in your body. You can calm all of that noise in your brain down and make a much clearer, calmer decision that results in you feeling really comfortable in your body. And one of the ways that you start to do this is with this concept of immediate gratification without food. When it thinks about the typical gratification of eating or not eating and losing weight and the number on the scale, it often thinks, well, okay. I can get the immediate gratification of the food now in this moment, or I have to wait to receive the delayed gratification of the scale going down, or the delayed gratification of my clothes being looser, or the delayed gratification of fitting in a smaller size. When it thinks about it in that way, that may be tomorrow that you receive the delayed gratification, or it may be in a few days, or it may be in a few weeks. So when your brain is making its decision from that perspective of either I can get the immediate gratification of the food now or I have to wait to this point in the future that I don't even know when it's going to be in that moment, your brain will often say, F that, I don't want to wait any longer for the gratification. I'm just going to eat right now. Your primitive brain 
that childlike part of your brain that it just wants what it wants and it wants it now. It makes all of its decisions around a focus of seeking pleasure, avoiding pain, and being really efficient. So when you tell it, the pleasure of not eating is so far into the future, of course it's going to just want the food right now. But here is what you are missing that you have to consciously remind your brain, especially if you have what I call a diet brain. The immediate gratification you get is feeling amazing in your body right now. You actually get the gratification of feeling good in your body before you even eat the food. (laughs) And when you feel good in your body, you get to carry it with you all of the time. It isn't a fleeting sense of pleasure like the food. It's a genuine, fueling, energizing, enjoyable pleasure that you get to take with you anytime you want. But when you have a disconnect between your brain and your body, your brain doesn't even realize this is an option. You have to remind it. It is why when you see young children, they will leave food on their plates and not eat when they aren't hungry. They have genuinely no desire to feel the discomfort of eating too much or eating when they aren't hungry or eating food that just doesn't feel good. It is why they go and play with the same energy before they ate than when they're done eating. They aren't drained by the food. It is also why your naturally thin friend can't quite articulate why it is easy for her to be naturally thin. She doesn't enjoy the feeling of discomfort in her body. She loves feeling light and airy and satisfied. That is her immediate gratification. It's like she can't quite understand why someone would want to feel uncomfortable in their body. Because she hasn't learned the disconnect between her brain and her body. And so her brain and her body are working in sync. And it's why when you ask your naturally thin friends or naturally thin women, you know, how do you do that? They often look at you like you're a little weird. And like I said on an earlier episode, it would be like if someone asked you, how do you walk? You kind of look at them like, what the heck? What is that question? I just walk. It's the same for her. She genuinely loves the feeling of feeling like she's in a comfortable body that isn't burdened with food that just feels genuinely uncomfortable. And so it makes it easy for her. So what is your immediate gratification? I want you to think about what it is really specific for you and your body and your brain. And I will tell you what mine is to kind of give you some things to think about, but then really understanding what it is for you so that you can consciously remind your brain of this. And how you start to understand this more intimately with your own body is by also taking away the physical distractions when you do eat so that you can truly listen to your body. So when you take away some of those physical distractions like eating while you're driving or eating standing up or eating in front of the TV, you get to understand what is comfortable in my body, what is uncomfortable in my body, so that then it can become so easy and effortless. Because when you retrain your brain, hey brain, the immediate gratification I get, it actually isn't as much about the food as it is just feeling comfortable and enjoying the experience of being in my body right now. And I don't even have to wait for that. I can experience it in this moment. And when you retrain your brain in that way, that will become its default, its automatic way of thinking. So that then when you start to feel uncomfortable in your body, your brain will automatically know, oh, I'm good. I don't need to keep eating. So the immediate gratification for me is the absence of the bloat, the absence of the digestive discomfort. It's the absence of feeling like something is stuck in my digestive tract. It's kind of the absence of all of the discomfort, right? It's also the energy my body feels. It feels like I have a buzzing, energized feeling going on in my body when I'm not overeating. It's a light, airy feeling and a comfortable, satisfied feeling. It is the lack of the mental exhaustion that comes with, I shouldn't have eaten that. I ate too much. I'm so bloated. I'm so uncomfortable. I'm so tired. Why do I keep doing this to myself? I don't have to 
go through that mental exercise. And so I get to continue to just feel amazing in my body. And yes, of course, those are all thoughts that are completely optional, but it's way easier to not think them when I'm not reminded by a physical discomfort in my body. It also allows me that immediate gratification to feel energized to do more of what I love in my life and to not feel like all I want to do is sit down and take a nap. The immediate gratification I get is my clothes fit. It is the confidence in myself that I can handle any emotion without food. When you tune into your immediate gratification, The other thing that happens is when you do eat a little too much, you don't even want to keep eating. You never say, oh, well, screw it, because you want to get back to feeling great and genuinely desiring that and genuinely wanting to be in a body that feels comfortable doesn't align with eating more. So when you retrain your brain to seek out that immediate gratification of feeling really comfortable and really good in your body, it makes the habit of stopping eating when you're satisfied, it makes the habit of not even wanting to eat unless you're hungry become so easy. Learning how to tune into your body and your brain's immediate gratification of feeling comfortable and great in your body right now, that skill in and of itself will shift how you make your decisions around food. It gets you closer to the naturally thin you who does this automatically. So, friends, give it a try. Get to know the ways in which you experience the immediate gratification of allowing your hunger and satisfying your hunger without overeating. How exactly does that light, airy feeling feel in your body? What does the naturally thin you think about food in her body? And let yourself start thinking that way today. Because, friends, when you really enjoy allowing your hunger and satisfying your hunger and feeling really comfortable in your body, that is what you do when you're naturally thin. So you want to start practicing that right now. And it also makes the process and the journey to losing weight and to being naturally thin so much more enjoyable because you get to enjoy being in your body all along the way. I will talk with you all next week, my friends. Have an amazing day. Friends, are you ready to put the struggle and obsession behind you for good? I will teach you how to take this work and really apply it to your specific brain and your specific body so that you come back to your innate brain-body connection. Your brain and body start to work in sync and when they work together, it stops feeling like your brain is your biggest obstacle and it feels like it's finally working for you. You easily allow your hunger and satisfy your hunger and being naturally thin becomes just a part of who you are. The obsession fades into the distance and it feels effortless. Head over to lauradixoncoaching.com forward slash work with me to learn more.